Hi guys. Hi guys. We are in Lipari and at the moment we just uh, trying to wait for some wind to, to go. We've been trying to go to Stromboli because I was, uh, we wanted to hike the volcano at night but due to uh, increased activity uh, we couldn't do it. So, But now we contact somebody and they say that it's good to go uh, at night so we're going to try to make our way today and hide the volcano at night. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and hopefully film a little bit as well. So we are hoping that it will like bubble up a little bit. Not too much, but <laughs> yeah, we're on our way to go across the Atlantic by the end of the year. So we're in a little bit of a time rush. We wanted to spend more time in the Aeolian Islands, but we still have Sardinia on our route and the Balearics, and then it's only going to be west for us. We only have 38 days left. I only have 38 days. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you can stay in the US as long as you like. <laughs> well, well, I'm not leaving you behind. So okay. we only have 38 days left, even though it's due to these fellas. Um, passport at the moment <laughs> but yeah and therefore we have to make our way all the way best out of the EU hit the Cape Verdes and then hopefully fingers crossed we're gonna make it across the Atlantic by the end of the year yeah so we're very excited to go to Stromboli and shall we put ourselves up yes we yes. should go First because there is the wind <laughs> I know we're going in the wrong direction because uh, Panarea is actually that way but we're sailing out a little bit from, uh, from Lipari just to be able to tack then to Starwood so because Panarea is that way I think so <laughs> yeah we don't have much window but uh, we can sail we're sailing at 35 so pretty close hold Sarah's making some salad downstairs with uh, tomato, mozzarella and some Gordon Blue as well Pretty cool. We have a bit of a situation in the anchorage today, this morning. We we're trying to leave and there's a gentleman who dropped the anchor right in front of us and he entangled the, the chain. We, we asked him to leave some anchor out so we can go around him and pick up the anchor but he didn't understand anything nor he had any boating experience. So it was a bit of a difficult situation there actually in Italian and it's a bit of a child in there as so well. We got the anchor up and, and eventually we just left. That was a bit uh, emotional. <laughs> emotionally charged, <laughs> lifting the anchor with so many people around, <laughs> trying to give you some opinion, but we managed after all, all went well. If you freeze mozzarella, it becomes a really strange consistency. And for some reason, it's salty now as well, because they put it in salt water. <laughs> and it now it's okay. It tastes really good, but it's really salty, so I didn't have to put more salt on it. Let me try. It, it becomes a bit gooey. But it's nice, it tastes mm, good. Salty, man. Salty, yeah. <laughs> <sighs> now we're just eight, and I feel like a snake. I know Nico wants to tuck because we're basically going the wrong way, but I just can't. I'm too full. gonna be passing Salina in a bit and Panarea should come into view and then 
Stromberly right behind it. That's the one that's active pretty much all the time. It's probably, I think it's one of the most active volcanoes um, in the world. I don't think the camera gonna pick it up from here, but actually on top of it, you can see a plume of smoke coming out. The Aeolian Islands are like an island chain and they're all of volcanic origin. So there's volcanic activity in all of the islands. We're probably not going to make it all the way to Stromboli today but there is an anchorage in Panarea which we'll be going... We're probably going to arrive in about 3-4 hours which is with the speed that we're doing right now and stay overnight and then arrive in Stromboli tomorrow because this is how it is with sailing. <laughs> we made a plan to go there but even with the great wind that we have at the moment it's not going to be enough time and we still don't want to arrive in the middle of the night at a volcano. This is a spatula that Sarah has been cleaning the side of the boat with. I can't believe she cleaned the side of the boat with this. To be honest, look at the surface area. <laughs> <laughs> so difficult. So, My arm is still like We are going faster though. It's 10 knots of wind. We're doing 4.1. Yeah. It's very, very good. I feel I've, mm. I've done something productive. Yes, look, and I even like got stung by jellyfish in the in the course yeah, of we action. Have, this is for gel coat, so don't have a bigger spatula anyway. But we're gonna get a bigger one. I was I was glad I, it, I only had that surface area because it was really really difficult at times <laughs> scrubbing all of this up. We had everything down there. We don't have a GoPro at the moment to go on the water, but we we plan to get a GoPro so we can film on the water and do time lapses and all this stuff. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, we're getting there. I'm not that lazy. No. Just when I ate, then I get lazy. <laughs> oh, this is such a relaxing sail. And ah, the cat is just <laughs> using me as furniture. Nice. Oh, no waves and steady winds. How many times did that happen? And actually, the wind is going in the direction that we have to go. So yay, we can sail properly. What the heck? Nini, she's enjoying it as well. She likes a steady sail. Oi, ow! still have light isn't that nice for once we're not arriving in the dark yeah so we're just gonna anchor between the other I think of 1,000 boats that are anchored here it's really packed it's a shame that it's actually full of boats but it's really really pretty though look at this it's beautiful it's so green and... yeah very protected as well huh? so we're just gonna anchor here tonight and then tomorrow we continue to Stromboli I'm glad we found a space in between the boats and Nick is pretty good at this. He always finds some little corner to wedge us in and it's just spectacular here. Really, really nice. It's actually one of the anchorages on the south side of the island. The anchorage is huge, but it's also full of boats. It's packed. You can see behind me how many boats are here. We found out from one of our patrons, Mike, that this particular anchorage has hot water, as in the water is hot because there is some volcanic underwater activity. So I can't wait to take a dip. And it's also super clear. We're just gonna put everything away and relax a little bit, have some dinner, because we've been in the sun all day and it's uh, actually, we feel a little bit fried. But yeah, talk to you later. We're just anchoring and uh, we have on the boom YouTube sailing as we go over, and there's a boat next door and I could hear the song tan, 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 tan. now they're all like in the mobile phone over there it's funny I think we should stay here tomorrow I don't know yet I'm really looking forward to go to Stromboli to be honest and now it's so close but can we afford another day? <laughs> I don't know we only have 38 days left in the EU 
So we really have to see what we're gonna do. I would love to stay longer everywhere. Sardinia here. Want to see like Lipari as well? No. Not yet. Let's see. We still have to contact somebody to find out if we're allowed to hike up Stromboli. So we're probably just gonna contact an official and see if there's a route or we're gonna research it a little bit. But yeah, to make sure we're not crossing any any borders basically if we're not doing anything that's not allowed. Well, I just don't want to boil or oh, die yeah, of exactly. with dangerous gases. So. Exactly, that's the thing as well, yeah. Sailing again, out of the anchorage, like a boss, awesome. We're just leaving Panarea, very nice island, but we decided not to stay much longer because we just bought 12 liters of water, three tomatoes, uh, a carton of milk and a couple of peppers and we're almost down 40 euros <laughs> so this is not quite the place we want to hang like around yeah yeah exactly this is about what we spent in a week in Lidl in the discount supermarket we've just entered an unofficial race with these people right behind us we're trying everything to be faster but they have a smaller boat potentially lighter as well so they're making a bit more way, but Anika is pulling and adjusting the sails over and over. So let's see. They're in front of us, which is not nice, but we have now caught the wind and we are speeding up. We're almost doing five knots now and they're actually bobbing around. I don't know why, it looks like there is wind where they are, but maybe they're just giving up because they know they have no chance against us. We are so far behind. I cannot even see the other boat anymore. I think they are already anchored in Stromboli. They already had lunch. We're not getting any close to as fast as this other boat is going. It's really impressive, man. It's clouds actually. It's really high, the clouds are just below. The, the peak of the volcano and you you know if you see from far away you obviously you, you know it's a volcano but it doesn't sink in on you until you like that close to know that it's an active volcano and the you know the smoke is coming out and everything so it's definitely an experience to sail around here it's so beautiful actually only 924 meters of stromboli can be seen and are above sea level whereas another 2,000 meters are underneath the sea. So this is actually a really, really big volcano. So it's like an iceberg, isn't it? But <laughs> most of the part is on the water. Yeah, exactly. Except that it's not cold. Freaking hot. <laughs> Join us next time on SV Cuba as we hike Mount Stromboli, the lighthouse of the Mediterranean Sea.